practice every day. The channel's full of bread, a little turn, a little pray. I flip a million out of nothing, make them feel a certain way. Hoping that the switch. What's good, y'all? Fist Vegas, the hardest voice of sports. Go ahead, hit that like button and subscribe to the Fisk. You know why you at it. Y'all know what time it is. If you ain't with it, you best get with it. Now let's rap. Let's. Kyle Pitts ain't it, man. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, y'all. Kyle Pitts is not it. Chill out. For real. Yeah, look. I'm going to be blunt. Normally, I like to ease into what I'm going to say. You know what I'm saying? I, you know, I got some talking points I like to hit before I get into what I need to be talking about. But for this video, this specific video, I'm getting straight to the point. Tight ends are irrelevant. They are irrelevant. Let me explain you something. You can get anybody who can catch to be a tight end. Tight ends are scheme dependent. You don't need to be, you, not everybody going to be Darren Waller or George Kittle. Okay, not everybody going to be that. Travis Kelsey ain't the fastest. Travis Kelsey's not as fast as Darren Waller. He's not as fast as George Kittle. He's not as fast and as, as athletic as um, Evan Ingram. He's not that. He's not, but guess what? Travis Kelsey gets open, catches the damn ball. Jason Witten, first ballot Hall of Famer. Ran the same damn routes that Evan Ingle ran all year. But he had 80, 90 catches for 1,000 yards and we had like eight touchdowns a year. Running the same damn shit. Same offensive coordinator. Same. I, how many times did Evan Ingle drop the crossing route over the middle? How many times did Evan Ingle drop the out route on third down? A tight end does not need to be drafted in the first round, especially at 11. When all you really got to do is just get somebody to hold on to the ball. Hypothetically speaking, we gave Evan Ingram 109 targets. He caught 63 of them for 600 yards. Imagine if he could catch. Evan Ingram, he's not getting targeted deep down the field. Realistically speaking, if, if, if Evan Ingram gets 109 targets and all his targets is intermediate targets from like 7 to 15 yards, Ever Ingle should have caught like 85 of those balls. Ever Ingle should have caught like 85 balls for like nine for like 900 to a thousand yards. Bottom line. If we had started Caden Smith from week one, I promise you Caden Smith would have caught like 85 balls for like 900 yards. He would have been way better than Ever Ingle. He would have caught like 80, 85 balls, maybe even a thousand yards. If you I remember Daniel Jones rookie year. Kaden Smith was tearing shit up. Kaden Smith and Daniel Jones had great chemistry together. It worked. I don't understand why Joe Judge don't like him. I'm convinced Joe Judge doesn't like him. Because if Joe Judge liked Kaden Smith, he would have played. Joe Judge just doesn't like Kaden Smith. Because we know Kaden Smith is the best tight end on our roster. It's not even close. So what I'm trying to say is this. I know he's 6'6". 240. He play he probably gonna run like a 4540. He I get it. He's got all the measurables. He's probably gonna be a combine machine. I get it, Giants fans. But I promise you, we can draft a tight end in the third round and he can flourish in Jason Garrett's offense if he could catch the damn ball. Cause Jason Garrett schemes the tight end open. I promise you. We don't need to waste money on a tight end and here's the thing too Giants fans this is why I understand about Giants fans I love my Giants fans I do I love y'all but I got to set y'all straight sometimes because y'all be going off the beaten path Giants fans why is it that y'all seem to think we need Saquon Barkley and we need Travis Kelsey and God knows the last two Super Bowls we won we won with a running back by committee and randoms and tight ends. It's like y'all seem to want every position that we don't need to win a Super Bowl. Giants fans, oh, we need a great run game to win a Super Bowl. We had the 32nd run game in the entire NFL in 2011. We won the Super Bowl. Giants, oh, we need we need to get a Travis Kelsey type tight end for Daniel Jones. 
Eli Manning won a, won a Super Bowl with Jeremy Shockey on IR in 07. And then in 2011, who was it? Jake Ballard? Who the hell was the tight end in 2011? I don't even remember the name of our tight end in 2011. I don't even remember. So it was like Giants fans. Y'all, what the hell is wrong with y'all? We need pass rush. We are the New York football Giants. Michael Strahan, Lawrence Taylor, Justin Tuck, Ozzy Umiyoa, JPP. That's what we need. That's our identity. Giants fans. We're like the Steelers. The Steelers without a stud-ass defense don't look right. The Giants without a pass rush, they don't look right. We're the Giants. Pass rush is in our DNA. And y'all talking about taking Kyle Pitts at 11? I don't give a damn what Mel Kuyper say. And uh, shout out to Mel Kuyper. I love Mel Kuyper. It's not a shout out to Mel Kuyper. I'm just saying. I don't give a damn what Mel Kuyper might draft say. We don't need no tight end at 11. We are the Giants. Either fix the wide receiving core at 11 or do it in free agency. But when come draft time, because the free agency comes before the draft, either we fix the wide receiver position in free agency or we draft the pass rusher or corner. Bottom line, we don't need no damn tight end. Jason Witten is the most unathletic tight end I've ever seen in my life. He's going to be a first battle Hall of Famer because he can catch the damn ball. All we, bro, listen. All we need to do for, for, for the Jimmy Graham. Jimmy Graham was what, six foot seven? All we need to do is just go find some, some, some power forward who's not going to the NBA, make him eat like Chinese food and Ben and Jerry ice cream every day of his life, like Fitz Vegas do. Listen, go get you a power forward or a small forward who not gonna make it to the NBA. Put them on the Fist Vegas Chinese food diet and put them in tight end. And there you go. This is not hard. This ain't rocket science. Tight end is the easiest position to make look good on a football field. All you doing is running shallow crosses, maybe a seam route through the middle if they're in a cover two, or you're going to run an option out route slash in route combo depending on what the corner or the linebacker is uh, depending on what zone coverage they're in. This is not hard. Tight end is not fracking science. You can get that in the third, fourth, fifth, sixth round. You don't need to spend no first round pick on no tight end. We, we ain't got no pass rush. We need Bradbury. We need some help at corner. We ain't got no wide receivers. We could use another guard. You know what I'm saying? Depending on how you feel about Shane Lemieux, we could use another guard. I mean, I don't know. But it just blows my mind that Kyle Pitts, because because Tommy, not Tommy Shea, Mel Kuyper projected us for Kyle Pitts at 11. Y'all falling for that? Giants fans were excited about that? Oh, no, 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 no. That's not what we do here on Fist Vegas Entertainment. Oh, no, 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 no. I got y'all. I got y'all. I, 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 I'll tell the truth. But that's it. That's all, man. Subscribe to the unit. If you rock it with me, my name is Fist Vegas, and I approve this message.